Okay, so fridge sitting here. Sitting here for a while. Well, at least a couple days, I think, with the snow. Hope she's not full of food, so it's clean. They're all the size, it'd be easy. I see guys in England, all their appliances are all small. Well, the ones I'm seeing were made for apartments, but everything out here is huge. Everything like big fridges, big appliances, heavy stuff. Come on. See how it just goes in like a piece of cake, huh? So I got a scrap pickup to do. So for our lady, it's got uh, all those pot lights now she wants to get rid of. So I'll be getting all those. I think we have to turn it the other way. A deep fridge. All these buckets I was gonna dump, but I figured I could put the pot lights in there. See now, there's a bunch of stuff at the side here that I could rummage up while I'm here. There's a couple of rails, but I think they're a chair here. Okay, this could be a good place for finding stuff. This grill, piece of metal. Almost an apple cord. Just so easy. So it must have moved out or something. Oh, so greasy. Hmm. Throw it all in a recycling bin, it's just not half the stuff you don't recycle. Take like the less greasy stuff. There's another chair there too. So scrap pickup I'm doing. It's gonna be uh, pot lights and who knows what else. Uh, stair runs, a bunch of old, old stair runs that are made out of metal, which could be sellable. Well, it's all grease, I can feel it. They're playing the snow now. When I saw it, I was coming this way through the lights there, and it looked like it was uh, like a stove, not a stove, but like a washing machine or something. Expect it to be a fridge, but all the merrier. Okay, barbecue here. I just left five minutes from my house and look, this stuff everywhere looks like this garbage day gonna be here, but I'm not sure if there's many scrappers here. I'm in Burnaby right now, so I'm not sure. I don't know I don't hunt this area to be honest, so there may be no scrappers in this area. There may be lots, but I'm definitely finding something. there I want to see I see a cord dangling right here like a heater okay not bad heavy heater a little mortar, copper mortar. A little bit of ink canal in there if you want. Tin shred, copper. And another one. 
another fridge. Just like that. This one I know has been here for a long time because I've seen it, I think probably a few weeks ago. But it's, you know, one time you see it, your van is full, right? So now it's mine. I think it's probably better to go backwards just because it's the angle I get. It wants to throw me off the, off this thing. Not a high one anyway, it's no big deal. Comes with the snow. A bit of scrap with the snow on it. Waves are kind of a pain. A little trap trapped in here now. By the time I go to this, my location, I'm gonna have a full van. I just wanted to uh, pick a couple, a couple of alleys. Well, I spotted the one thing. Which is. What the hell is that? Hmm? Yeah, there it is. I spotted uh, the one thing, and all of a sudden, the trying to get out of here now there's now the other things here that's why I hate hate barbecues they're just a pain Fridges. Yeah, no problem, I'll get it all. Okay, so I'm gonna have to pick here. They give me this cart here so I can roll stuff around in my yard. Actually come could come in really handy. So now what I might do is put this by the door, move this stuff out. Now she gave me a helium tank, but I'm not gonna take it right now. But you know, you always stop, and then now you have more than I can handle, right? You know how it is. Just take this stuff out for now. to the front I put the rolling thing there and I'll put all the light fixtures inside it It'll work out good it come in really handy something like this For like a fish or something, a fish cart, I would think. So there's no holes, like it holds the ice, like an ice bucket. Well, this is gonna be handy for my yard, that's for sure. Oh, at least it fits. Okay, now we'll go there. Try to put all this stuff on the side.
stainless steel. I don't think it's heavy enough to be. The one light bulb so far. Okay, okay. So, so rest of these two, right? Uh, yes. Okay. Except the good one. Is there any good one? Is that one good one? <laughs> I'm not sure okay, if they're good. See. Whatever you think. These are all kind of mismatched anyways. Yeah, can you check if there's any light bulbs? Yeah, oh yeah. I got one so far. Come in handy for that container for sure. Little chains. Got caught in everything. Lots of wire and uh, aluminum in these things, so come in handy. I don't need that bucket. Okay, no problem. Okay. Good for now. Okay. okay. A bunch of stair runs here. Maybe sellable. HMS, the girls, they're still probably sellable. Okay, not too bad. A bunch of aluminum coming, elbows and stuff from downpipes, so. Okay, we have here pot lights, track lighting. Okay, one second. And then we got pot lights, drill, sink, garbage dispenser. Okay, so I ended up taking a tank here because I had a big bracket, I couldn't get in here because that's the way this van is. It's too overloaded. It was long and I didn't, have, didn't bring a saw because I didn't realize you had to have heavier metals. Liquid, it's a helium tank actually. So, with the prop up in the not going to be a problem. That's quite good there. Okay. So, no. I hey, uh, just came back from Summit Tools. Everybody says I don't have enough tools or I don't have this and all that. Well, you know what? If I need tools, I'll buy the tools when I want. So, gloves, because I'm, I'm sick of wet gloves, when they get mucky, then your hands get black. So, got a dozen gloves. I got uh, this set here. It's got um, security bits in there. Uh, you know, I, I have many of these sets anyways. It's just, you lose one, one bit and then you're screwed. That's the problem. So, anyways, I bought two. One's an ROK, one's a power or something. Anyways, there's similar sets. One's 32, one's a little taller. 
I'm um, going to use it for some of that e-waste, you know, a lot of different torques. I had good bits before, so I ended up buying, I had good results with these bits for some reason. The other bits, they were expensive, but no, these ones are always better. I seem to have good results with these colored ones. So I bought, because, uh, you know, I go by colors, right? And it tells me what the bits are, you know, when you use a lot of bits, right? I bought two of those. Got a cold chisel. Um, I'm gonna try this on, you know, like uh, on, you know, uh, on some of the big, bigger. Um, like I use them with transformers, like the other kinds where you have to uh, chisel one side of the transformer or the copper at least. I'll try to see if it works. Or I can use it for mortars. Cold chisel. Part of the one aviation snips. If you ever use these. If you haven't used these yet, you'll never want to use any other snips. These are the best. And believe me, they're, they're only like $70. And they cut everything. Um, you know, and it gets delicate. You go way in there between components and stuff. You can cut the wires right to the tips. Works really good. I recommend getting, if you haven't tried this, try it. It might feel awkward for a little bit, but when you use it all the time, you'll never want to use this, any other one like this. This is really good. So I bought uh, some more, um, okay, I bought a metric set. So I'm having problems with certain sizes. And I think the metric, so I bought a metric set. Then I bought another uh, set here, it's a Torx. But I can use it on uh, um, on some, on another, that's actually different sizes. Anyways, I can use it on a, on one of my bit sets, so impact or something anyways just just toys toys to buy i brought this uh um a bit extender and i brought a couple knives a little bit of junk food so anyways uh i mean it's, it's expensive like you know tools aren't cheap i got lots of tools but you know after a while like say you lose one piece then you're, you know, that size is screwed. I tried buying screwdrivers here. They had, they had no Torx screwdrivers. Because I like Torx because Torx is really tight. So you have a screwdriver, you can just crack it, right? Especially when I'm working on this, um, this commercial radios, you know, a, a screwdriver is good. You can get in there. If you're using, uh, like, satellite feed horns, some, ha some have Torx. Works out pretty good. Anyways, I think that's it for today. I got my van pretty full. Of the propane tank in here, or no, the helium tank. Um, since it's helium, so it wouldn't be that hard to take the top off. It's not like you're dealing with the gas, it's only air. Um, it's empty, anyways, so I can pop the top off and put in the HMS. Anyways, uh, if you like my content, like my channel, you like my entertainment, uh, make sure you uh, ring the notifications, share with your friends, give it a like. Yeah, because all, all scrap matters. Why? Because you never get enough of it. Okay, thanks for watching.